Hi, this is Dr. Todd Rowe presenting tips on using the homeopathic remedy Sarsaparilla. Before I start, I'd like to say that nothing in this material is meant to diagnose, cure, prescribe, or treat any illness. Please consult your homeopathic practitioner for treatment options. Sarsaparilla is also known as wild licorice and is used in making root beer. It's a plant that comes from Jamaica and is native to Central America. It was imported to Europe. It's a large perennial climber, climber with thorny stems and the roots are actually quite long and heavy and grow up to six to eight feet long. This plant historically has been used to treat syphilis arthritis, and asthma. In homeopathy, we predominantly use it for urinary tract infections. It's one of our leading remedies for cystitis. And we also use it for skin problems, cracking the skin and boils, as well as painful menses, dysmenorrhea. The emotional or mental state is often um, work focused and from ailments from overwork which can cause their problems. They can be ambitious and dream about work a lot. Also there can be dwelling on past upsets and they can be angry about past disagreeable occurrences and worse from contradiction. Often they are somewhat taciturn um, and tend to be loners. Big focus on the skin, as I mentioned, and the general urinary tract. They tend to be chilly and worse from cold. They are worse at night, worse during the period, and there is often weakness and fatigue associated with the remedy. Symptoms are typically worse on the right side as well. In the hands, there is often cracking of the skin, also on the feet, and these cracks can be painful and burning. Also, there can be arthritis uh, and trembling of the hands and feet with great weakness of the lower limbs. And as I mentioned, a uh, very useful remedy for treatment of boils. Painful menses with pain extending into the back and lower abdomen and down thighs with a lot of faintness and weakness. One of the main though indications, as I said, is this uh, dysuria or urinary tract infections. Typically, the pain associated with the urinary tract infection is worse at the end of urination with the last drops. It's also better standing, worse hot food, um, and burning quality to the pain with frequent urging. Sometimes they're unable to urinate without standing up, and there can be blood in the urine. It's also a useful remedy for kidney stones and nocturnal enuresis or bedwetting in children. And there can be herpetic eruptions of the genitalia as well, genital herpes. I mentioned the cracking of the skin. The skin can also be dry and thick, and there can be a lot of itching as well. In terms of the urinary tract infections, you can compare to benzoic acid, equisetum, cantharis, petroleum, and lycopodium clavatum. Other remedies that come close in energy to sarsaparilla include allium sepa, or red onion, Apis mellifica, or the honeybee, the element mercury, and the sepia, which is the ink of the cuttlefish. This is a case uh, from 1895 um, of urinary tract infection in a woman who's 37 years old. It's having incessant urging to urinate, which is relieved only a few moments after voiding. There's burning through the urethra during urination, which is worse 
at the close of urination. With the passage of the last drops of urine, a shudder goes over the whole person, starting from the region of the bladder, so that she must hold on to something tightly at that time. And there's a bit of sediment in the urine if it stands for a few hours. The symptoms were worse during the menstrual period from 5 to 8 p.m., worse in warm weather, it was constipated with ineffectual urging to stool, there was a yellow vaginal discharge, and there was swelling of the inguinal glands in her inguinal region. She took sarsaparilla 2C in solution, two teaspoons every three hours, and took six doses in one day. And the following uh, two days, uh, she recovered and she was fine. You can order this homeopathic remedy through orders at amcfh.org. Also, if you're interested in learning more about acute care prescribing and first aid prescribing, we have a program called the Introduction to Homeopathy Online Program, which is 40 hours. And you can find out more about this at acutecare at amcfh.org. We also offer a wide variety of self-help programs, which range from four to six hours, and focus on the homeopathic treatment of various clinical conditions. And the website for this is www.selfhelphomeopathy.org. And or you could just visit our website at www.amcfh.org. Thank you very much.